in this video we're going to build a super simple linear actuator using V-slot, a motor mounting plate, idler pulley plate, some belt, one of the universal build plates, and some zip ties. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I've already mounted the wheels. I have the eccentrics on one side and the standard spacers on this side. What we're trying to do is mount it like this along the top side. We'll put the motor on one side and the idler pulley on the other and the belt through the center. So at this point I have this on here. I just need to tighten down the eccentric nut. You should be able to spin it. It should be able to spin with some friction against the rail there. Same thing on this side. The idea here is you're trying to get rid of any play that you may have. Tighten up the nuts on these once you have them in place and that's nice and tight and it's not moving anywhere it still can roll uh, smooth and free alright so take this off for one second we have that set I'm going to take my motor now you can see it's kind of reversed the way I put the screws through here 8 millimeter screws with some T-nuts and I have my uh, GT2 30 tooth timing pulley. It's bigger and the idea is that it allows it run through the channel and above the, the rail itself. So slide this on here. I have these in the middle holes too. Something like that. And you can see how one side will be able to go through the tunnel, the other side will be able to travel on top. Just kind of line it up here. And I've got it pushed up here to the uh, screw, and the rod is directly, the shaft, sorry, is directly in the center. Don't forget the flat part of your pulley needs to line up with the set screw, one of the set screws, like that. And then you want to center. Oh, and the other thing is, if this is if this is uh, tight going on there, make sure you sand this a little bit. Took a little bit of sandpaper, hit that. So I just want to align this here. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to take my belt, feed it through. On this end, I got the teeth uh, facing up. Just going to go through till I get down there to the to the bottom. Okay, so it should come around like this to the top. And I'm just going to split the difference here. This will be a good time to just put your carriage on. And push this through. Something like that. And I have some zip ties. Make it quick. Make sure the teeth line up. So they're engaged. Probably not necessary, but I like to have two of these on here. Okay, that looks good. Now make sure that the belt's not twisted and look right through the hole there. At this point, we can take our idler pulley plate and mount that. We already have the screws on it. Slide that on. I like to push the plate to one side of the of the rail or the other. So I'm just going to push it up on this one. I'm not over tightening these. I want to take a look at it. I can see the wheel is a little close. I'm just going to back it off a hair. And then I'll tighten her down. We'll bring this through. It's a lot easier if you are pushing the plate in the direction that you want this belt to curl. And if you have a pair of uh, needle nose, you can reach in there and grab them. There we go. Alright. Now you can see I'm still loose back here, and that's fine because we can adjust it. That looks good. Take this, loosen it up. And I'm going to pull it tight, I'm pushing over and up. Just 
grab the pulley, pull it tight. There you go. It's an awesome linear actuator. If you can't get this super tight, you can always use one of the belt tensioners on here. But a run this short really doesn't need it. So that makes a great V-slot linear actuator, super fast build, NEMA 17, nice and strong, precise, and it gives you a plate you can mount pretty much anything to. Have fun with your builds.